I've told you four stories in which some people could say she sure pokes fun at her husband. Well, he's left brain. He can't help it. It's just one of those things. But being left brain doesn't mean that you're not a smart individual. And it does not mean that you're not creative. This will illustrate that. When our son, Beaver, sitting right here on the end, was turning 16, he started like, y'all know this story. I got to have a car. I need a car. Everybody's got a car. I want a car. We need it right now. And today they say, I want a truck. Everybody's got a truck. But then it was a car. And I remember saying to him, you know what you ought to do? You're a junior in high school. You ought to start toward a car by bringing your grades up, studying a little bit harder. He said, if I had a car, I could get home faster in the afternoon, get right on that work. We said, we're not buying you a car. And as fate would have it, Left Brain's daddy, Mr. Robertson, passed. And he had a clunker of a car. I mean, it was, it was big and it was heavy. It had a radio, all the essential things, but it was real old and he wouldn't have sold it for anything. The only person in our family who had a driver's license but did not have an automobile was Beaver. He got the car. When he got out of school, he, wouldn't, he wasn't interested in going to Elon. Had to get away from here, I have to get away from here. So he went to school at Randolph-Macon up in Virginia. And I guess six weeks after you went there, we went up for parents' weekend. We got to the hotel. We called Beaver, and we said, Beaver, we're out at the hotel. Bring some friends of yours. We'll take some to dinner if that's, the way you, that's what you do. And he said, you know, I've got a great parking place right out here near my dorm. He said, why don't y'all pick us up at the entrance to college? When we, right there in the entrance. And I said, oh, okay, that's fine. And we did, and fed his friends. Next morning, I called and said, we got a great buffet out here at this hotel. Come on out here and eat breakfast. He said, oh, well, it's the same situation. I'm parked right in this curve at my dorm. If somebody gets it here on Parents Weekend, all these people here, I'll be parking blocks away and walking back. Could you come pick us up right at the entrance to the college? I said, well, okay. Left brain said, how did he get the best parking place in the state of Virginia? I said, I don't know. <laughs> We did that three more times. We did it for the game that afternoon. We did it for dinner that night and on Sunday morning. And then we left. It did not dawn on us that Beaver had lost the car. <laughs> I don't mean he was playing poker and lost the car. He didn't know where the car was. Now, in hindsight, what he said was that a bunch of them were driving out on a country road and something happened in the car and it stopped. This is a story and he's sticking to it. And they pushed the car off and said he'd come back the next day or sometime and get the car and get it fixed and get it back. Then when they went back, nobody could find the car. It, they rode all over the county roads looking for this car, for this automobile. But he didn't mention it. And when I thought about it, I said, you mean we have been feeding boys who all knew this all weekend, that he didn't know where the car was? What in the world? But at that time on Sunday, we just drove on home thinking we had had a wonderful weekend with our son. On Monday morning, the phone rang. It was the Virginia Highway Patrol. They had had an automobile listed under Left Brain's name for 17 days <laughs> at a cost of so much a day. Now, I'm going to just step out of my story for a minute and just say something. It's very important. It had to be the Virginia Highway Patrol. Are there any people in here from Virginia? Yeah. See, the people in Virginia think they're better than the people in North Carolina. <laughs> They always have and they always will. And they found this clunker of a car on the side of the road and towed it off. In case you're worried, the fact they think they're better than we are, it doesn't bother the people from North Carolina because we believe we're better than the people from South Carolina. <laughs> the same thing. Are there South Carolinians here? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, y'all have got Georgia. Think about it. 
So they had this car. Now, I go all over the country telling people, keep a sense of humor, find the humor in stressful situations. But when Left Brain hung up the phone and told me they had had this car for 70 days, and I thought back about the weekend, I was ticked off. But Left Brain said, let me think about this. Don't, 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 I'm gonna call him right now. No, no, you're not, let me think about it. And that's where that creative side of a Left Brain person kicked in. He came back later and he said, I know what we're gonna do. I wait till he's out of class and I'm gonna call him. That afternoon, and that was back when you had one phone on the hall. Y'all don't even know what we're talking about. You had one <laughs> pay phone. You had to have coins. You don't even have coins anymore. You got that debit card. Slide that thing through. And one phone. And a, a student answered and left brain said, may I speak to Beaver, please? And just like that, the student said, he just left. He had some books under his arm. He was on the way to the library. I think he's over there studying. <laughs> Left Brain said, this is his father put him on. <laughs> and he said, yes, sir. <laughs> Beaver came to the phone and Left Brain said, I know we've told you we would never do this, but I guess I won't have to go back on my words. Just got a call from the car place. They have a brand new red Porsche that somebody ordered and now doesn't want. <laughs> And they have lowered the price so much that I can't pass this up if you want it. Well, we heard Beaver. I could hear it. The phone was way over there. And I could hear him say, my, my dad's getting me a red Porsche. Y'all come on. And kids were all around the phone and everything. Left Brain even took the phone and heard. So I, all the boys cheering, carrying on, looking at it. He said, yes, sir. And, and then he said, I'm not sure you can get in it. You're six, eight. Now, then you were thin. <laughs> But this is later now. But then they started to say, we can get him in it. We can get him in it. We can push him down it. We can. And then Beaver said, when can I get the car? And Left Brain said, well, I could bring it up there tomorrow afternoon. And he said, that's great. Tomorrow afternoon. That's fantastic. And Left Brain said, well, clean your car up. <laughs> and get it ready for the trade-in. But Beaver said, somebody wants my car? They said, yes, yeah, somebody's got that same old model and they want your car uh, to, to use as parts. As a matter of fact, that's the main thing in the deal. I'll be up there and get it tomorrow. There was a long pause. I'm talking about a long pause. Finally, Beaver said, well, I got a, I got a little problem with that. I'm not sure where that car is. <laughs> and Left Brain said, well, I am. It's with the Virginia Highway Patrol. <laughs> now we had a longer pause. <laughs> and then we had the understatement of the history of mankind. <laughs> Beaver finally spoke and he said, I guess this means there's no red Porsche. <laughs> decided to never mention it. I chose to let Left Brain handle it with Beaver. Beaver knew that I knew about this, but he never knew when or where I would jump in with it. <laughs> and then after a while, it just got off of our radar. Fast forward 29 years. <laughs> 29 years. Our grandson, Ryder, named after a truck, Ryder was coming to Elon as a freshman last August. And the big thing is he had a piece of a car. You know where he got it. I had the good, new, powerful car. I passed my car down to here. Left brain passes his car down to here. But he wanted to bring that clunker with him to Elon University. And apparently, down in Georgia, this was a very big discussion. Left Brain and I decided we would stay out of it. We were the grandparents. We're out of it. And then last August, Beaver called me, his mama, for some advice. <laughs> he said, Mama, I don't know what to do. He said, Ryder wants to bring this car up to, up to Elon, and he's a good kid. He's never given us any trouble. He hadn't had a wreck. He doesn't have a lot of tickets or anything like that. I'm just not sure at this age of his life he has the maturity to have a car at college. <laughs> I 
It is written in the Bible. <laughs> Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. <laughs> but I can't help but believe that in heaven, they don't cut mothers a little slack. <laughs> 29 years had passed, and I said, I guess this means there's no red Porsche. <laughs> It took Beaver a little while to connect the dots, <laughs> but he did, and finally he said, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that after all these years, you put that and put that right in like you just did. I said, the problem with you, Beaver, is you don't know how patient your mother can be. <laughs> And he said, the problem with you, mother, is you're going around the country giving all these theater shows and people are laughing and you're beginning to think you're a lot funnier than you are. 